I think a lot of times we look at community and we say to ourselves, well, there's this one and there's this one and there's this one, and let's all compartmentalize them. And we all have our own agenda when our agenda is to create great work. So if you're interested in that, you're a part of our community. Hello and welcome to Bravo Theater. It is our pleasure to have you join us for the first preview night of Cherie Moraga's New Fire to put things right again. We're trying to figure out a way to make a space where theater and presentation of live work is something that you think of the same way you think of going to the movies. Of course, it's been complex in terms of economics as it is for everyone right now. Artistically, though, we've done over 35 projects in four seasons, from producing, presenting dance, producing theater, uh, presenting music, having a full-scale education program, and having more than 50,000 visitors in the building almost every year. A lot of our emerging artists, they generate their first projects here, which is really great. And then we continue to try to support figuring out where those works can go. So we've been blessed to have that work produced in New York, go on to the Edinburgh Festival, go on to the Warsaw Theater Festival. And to me, those are great things when you're watching artists that think that there's nowhere else that someone might be interested in you being a woman of color telling your story and them getting really excited about it. That is our biggest accomplishment, having artists become better artists. Uh, what I'd like to do is have the musicians go down a tad. What is great about Cherie coming back to Brava first and foremost is the fact that here you have this established, amazing writer who's won a slew of awards. And finally, she also gets an opportunity to direct her work. So even though she is this amazing, established writer, the truth is she's also being nurtured as a director and given some space as a director to create. The play is a new fire to put things right again. It's described as where ceremony and theater meet in the indigenous tradition, the Mesoamerican tradition. When you turn 52, it's like the completion of an epoch, of a, of a period of an uh, important era. And the purpose of the ceremony is to get well. Right? It's just uh, you're 52, and whatever you have been carrying for the first 52 years, it's time to let it go. And so really here, um, I, you know, they have given me carte blanche to, to, to do this. and. Um, you know, I think that, you know, it's kind of, it's nice for me in the sense of coming back 25 years later and sort of seeing, sort of personally, sort of my own evolution as an artist and a thinker. Uh, the whole effort even to put, you know, the Chicana or the Indigenous Women's Experience center stage is in itself a very, for Euro-American theater, is a very radical position because of the state of theater. It's, it's a hard road to hold up an institution. You know, it really is a hard road. And so I'm looking at, I'm looking at all these, where we are 25 years later in the Bay Area, and looking how hard it is for us to struggle, you know, to keep our theaters going, et cetera. So I would like to think that I'm not struggling quite as hard, you know, <laughs> personally. But, the, but in that sense, what I mean by that is that that intention, though, that commitment, particularly what I see is that, you know, here to really, you know, produce works um, uh, that wouldn't be produced in other places, and also to really um, um, nurture women of color artists, you know. Um, I think that that's something that um, has not shifted for me in those 25 years, and it's good to see that Brava still remains committed to that kind of, that kind of work, you know. I think that when people talk about the reflection of the community, we can only go from what we have on our staff. We have a South Asian managing director, we have an African American artistic director, you know, we have a Latino community outreach person. So to us, you know, aside from the staff, aside from the other people, the other artists that we work with being a reflection of us, yes, the, the community is changing, but Bravo's always tried to be ahead of that, just that sense of trend. So what I did when I came in was make it about the work that shows the eclecticism of the Mission District, as well as serving the mission. And those are the types of things that I feel really build what Bravo is about.